Hello viewer, welcome to this quick bite video where I am going to explain the three key concepts of system reliability, SLA, SLO and SLI. Initially these three concepts might seem very confusing, but they are actually very logical in terms of service delivery. Before we proceed, I would recommend you to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. The three terms that we are going to understand today are SLA, which is short for Service Level Agreement, SLO, which is Service Level Objective, SLI, which is short of Service Level Indicator. The three terms are closely related and as their names suggest, have different meaning. Before jumping into an IT scenario, let us take an analogy of a quick delivery restaurant. And we are going to apply the concept of SLA, SLO and SLI to it. Imagine you're running a restaurant and as your USP, you have specified that you are going to deliver food on the table in 20 minutes. This promise is your commitment to the customer, or in simple terms an SLA, or service level agreement. It's the promise you make to your customers about the quality and speed of your service. Now to achieve that commitment, you have set an internal process to prepare the food in 10 minutes of time. This internal target is termed as SLO, or service level objective. This is the goal that your kitchen staff aims to achieve. It's more internal, like saying, we aim to prepare each dish within 10 minutes to ensure it's delivered on time. The gap between the committed SLA and target SLO is called an error budget. Think of it, because of some reasons or an incident you miss to prepare the food in 10 minutes of time, you still have another 10 minutes to prepare it and deliver. This error budget is the buffer between SLO and SLA and gives you room to fix any errors but still maintaining your SLA. The last, but the most important part, is SLI, or Service Level Indicator, is how you measure your performance. It's like checking how many dishes were actually prepared and delivered within the 20 minute target. What parameters are you measuring and how you are tracking them? Now taking an example of IT services, let us assume that you have a mobile application that you have committed to your customers to be available for 95% of time. To achieve this target, we have kept an SLO of 99%. Watching the availability matrix and calculations of 9, we will have following numbers. This gives you a workable error budget. So in case of any incident, we still have this much time to track it. Now to track our SLA, we have to monitor our SLI over a period of time and then we calculate SLO over a period of times, usually monthly, so that we can track if we are depleting our error budget or not. In some cases, breaching of SLA may result in penalties as well, and thus monitoring of SLO and error budget is quite important. Just for a recap, SLA is service level agreement, SLO is service level objective, SLI is short of service level indicator. It's crucial to balance these three, your SLA should be realistic, your SLO achievable, and your SLI should accurately reflect performance. This balance ensures customer satisfaction and service efficiency. Thank you for joining us. Remember, understanding and balancing, SLO, SLA, and SLI is key to successful service management. See you next time.